Welcome to Crafty Chemist Designs. Today I will show you a walkthrough of the May-June 2021 catalog. Let's take a look. I really love the cover of this catalog. It is so bright. The first page talks about becoming a VIP or becoming a maker. If you are interested in this, the details are on my website. These pages talk about our subscription programs. We have the Craft with Heart scrapbooking subscription, where you can choose between monthly, four month and 12 month subscriptions and get regular deliveries of exclusive cut above layout kits. We also have a Craft with Heart card making subscription. You can receive a new card making kit featuring an exclusive stamp set and a variety of cut above card designs every four months. Subscribe for a four month or 12 month period. The first collection in the catalog is this new Hillside Cottage. When you use the Hillside Cottage collection of products, your scrapbook pages, cards, and other projects are certain to be bursting with rustic charm and richness. You can buy the Hillside Cottage paper pack either with or without the sticker sheet. Look at those papers, very pretty. And I will now show you a close up of the sticker sheet. Our sticker sheets are so wonderful. You can see I've used a couple on this for my samples, but the stickers are very thick and very sturdy. I love the colors in this collection. The colors in this collection feature Flamingo, Bluebell, New England Ivy, Canary, Paprika, Mink, Black, and White Daisy. Look at the arrangement of those colors. The first page has this very pretty yellow with florals. And on the reverse side is a black with flowers. But look at the cute little animals that they have in there. There's a fox, a rabbit. This page has a floral design on the top and the bottom, plus the beautiful zip strip. And the paper itself is sort of a wood grain that's green. This paper is a blue plaid color that was on the reverse of the previous one. This is the third page and it's a paprika. So it's like those um, old fashioned picnic tablecloths, but instead of red, it's paprika. And the reverse of that is a very pretty pink uh, design with little teeny flowers. You get six sheets to each of the three double sided designs and they're 12 by 12. Now let's look at the coordinating cardstock. You get 12 sheets, two each of White Daisy, Black, Bluebell, Flamingo, Paprika, and Canary. And again, these are all 12 by 12. I love the very interesting color combination here. Not something that I would have put together, but really looks interesting. So White, Black, Bluebell, Flamingo, Paprika, and Canary. You get two each of those. And the embellishments with this collection are these hillside cottage shapes. You get 61 separate wood and acrylic pieces. Most shapes are designed to fit within one another. And again, they're those really cute uh, animals and uh, other rustic shapes like the watering can. Look at this goose. Those are the wood shapes. Now look at this little rabbit. You can see the little rabbit and then the black acrylic shape of the flower fits inside of the bunny. So the wood pieces are obviously wood and then the black pieces are the acrylic. Now let's take a look at the Cricut collection. You can cut a variety of shapes that coordinate with the Hillside Cottage collections. To find this, go to my website and look for the Cricut logo at the very bottom of the page. We also have Hillside Cottage Picture My Life cards. You get 24 double-sided pocket cards featuring unique designs, 12 each of 4x6 and 3x4. Not all designs are shown. This is the Hillside Cottage card making stamp set. You can get this either with or without the thin cuts. Look at those cute cards that you can make with this. This set is the Hillside Cottage scrapbooking set. You get 20 stamps and you can get them either with or without the thin cuts. 
these are meant to layer together and you can see how the floral and uh, the shapes all layer together. Use the Hillside Cottage Scrapbooking Workshop Kit to create three coordinating 12 by 12 two page layouts. The workshop kit includes exclusive die cuts and pattern papers designed especially for these projects, as well as assembly instructions that guide you. And there's an optional embellishment with liquid pearls. And I have put these kits together so you can see the three two page layouts. This first one is so pretty and really features the paprika design. The white border is a, a die cut overlay. And then you use the inside part of that on the next page. You could see the white diagonal strip was from the inside of the previous page. Very dimensional. This one is so pretty. I love the black borders with the pink on the inside. And I love the little clusters. This one with the goose and the flowers, some of the wood shapes and the house. And then you can see I use the uh, black liquid pearls to embellish a little bit on the pages. Look at the other side. You can see this really cute little Dutch girl but it has sort of a gnome vibe to it. She has a little wheelbarrow. And look at the cute little cluster on her hat. That's a uh, die cut there. And then the last page is a very pretty overlay. So that white part is a 12 by 12 overlay. Let's take a closer look. You can see the cute dimension there. There's a little cutout of the little leaves on those flowers. The flowers on the very bottom are part of the overlay and are stamped right on the paper. But the flowers there are popped up on foam tape and I used liquid pearls to embellish on the inside. Very similar page on the right hand side. Cute little tag there. I like those floral colors with the embellished insides with the liquid pearls. This is the Hillside Cottage card making kit. The second collection is the Stars and Stripe, Stars and Sparklers, sorry. You can celebrate all sorts of occasion like family get togethers, backyard parties, fairs, festivals, and everyday fun using the Stars and Sparklers collection. Let's take a closer look. Look at the Stars and Sparkler paper pack. You can get this either with or without the sticker sheet. You get six sheets, two each of three double-sided designs and one coordinating sticker sheet. I love these stickers. They are so fun and just scream summer. Yes, they have a flare to 4th of July, but you can see there are so many embellishments that can just be summer fun, like that little truck, so cute. Let's take a closer look at the paper. This one is a floral design. There's all the six uh, designs, six sheets that you get. Look at the floral design. Um, you can see a little bit of like vintage discoloration there that's on the paper, really cute. This one has some fireworks, um, firecrackers, pinwheels, balloons. This one is a star pattern, but you can see like distressing in it. So there are some spots that are darker than others, some faded areas. This paper is really cute. It goes with the 4th of July celebration, but all it says is celebrate. So it can be used for anything. This one, I think is supposed to be fireworks, but it does kind of look floral. It's a light, a light blue. And this one is sort of the stripes like on the flag, but it's kind of a rustic look. Okay, let's take a look at the coordinating cardstock, the Stars and Sparklers coordinating cardstock. You get 12 sheets, two each of White Daisy, Toffee, Scarlet, Carolina, Bluebird, and Sapphire. 
I really, really, really love this combination. So classic. I love all of the different blue shades there. And that dark scarlet red. Kind of a vintage feel to me. The embellishment for the Stars and Sparklers are star sequins. You get 64 adhesive back sequins in four colors. Blue, silver, red, and gold. Here I'll show you a close-up of them. Notice that they are a little bit, um, I would say embossed. So they are concave on the, the bottom, or on the top, and then on the bottom they're convex. And they do come with adhesive backs. There's also a Cricut collection that co comes with this. So make sure, again, go to my website, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and look for that Cricut logo and click on that. This collection also has the Picture My Life cards. You get 24 double-sided pocket cards. Okay, this first stamp set is the Stars and Sparklers card making set. Again, you can get them with or without thin cuts. And then here is the Stars and Sparklers scrapbooking stamp set. This one has 25 stamps and you can get them either with or without the thin cuts. Here's a close up of the stamp set. Take it out of the package so you can see it without the glare. I love that little um, grill. I've made a layout using this stamp set. And look how cute it is. I used some of, actually some of my scraps from the scrapbooking workshop. Use the, the little pennant. There's a pennant stamp in there. The friends. I used some of the star embellishments. I love the little fork and spatula and the grill. The fire up the grill was a stamp there. And look at that cute watermelon. It's like a three layer stamp there. Ketchup and mustard bottles and a little pinwheel. So cute. We grill in the backyard a lot and I am going to put some of those pictures on that page. This is a Stars and Sparkler scrapbooking workshop kit. You make three coordinating 12 by 12 two page layouts and you get everything that you need, including die cuts, pattern papers, and a stencil to make um, the optional technique, which is using texture paste. And you'll be able to see that on my sample layouts. I created the workshop kit for you to see. This star pattern was so fun to make. A couple of those are cut out, but some are um, punch outs. There I was showing you the texture paste using the stencils that I colored with some Carolina ink. Again, some little clusters where I use some of the texture paste. You can see how it gives it some good dimension. The second layout is so fun. That white uh, border on the edges, so on the sides of each page, is actually a die cut, and you put different colored papers behind. And it also includes this really cute pinwheel. It's two pieces of paper that you fold and put together to make a pinwheel. Very dimensional and so cute. I wish I had thought to trace that out on uh, cardstock before I made it. I love the home sweet home sentiment. And again, on this side, you can see where I put different paper behind the uh, punch out die cut. And I did pop up that one picture on foam tape. And the last layout is this cute one. It uses that uh, truck sticker that I really love. I love the look of this. Look at that cute little uh, cluster the truck. I used some of the embellishments on it. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of uh, pennants sort of behind each of the uh, pictures. So you dovetail some paper and then you just sort of layer up the different dovetailed pieces of cardstock. It's so pretty.
Okay, the next collection is the Stars and Sparklers card making workshop. Here you make 16 cards for each of four designs. And this stamp set comes with an exclusive stamp and thin cuts. It's really cute balloons. Here is the mix-in paper for this catalog. The mix-in pack, you get six sheets, one each of the six double-sided designs. So here it's a little pinwheel pattern and on the back are it's a whole sheet of different pennants. You can either use it whole or cut those pennants out. This is uh, stripes, but the stripes are made of little um, arrows. And then on the reverse is a toffee colored with little white flowers on it. I used some of this paper, but um, it has squares or diamonds sort of on that. And then the back side is, it's a bluebell paper with black stripes. You can kind of see the diamond pattern. It reminds me of a log cabin uh, quilt design. This is uh, white paper with black hearts. I love the zip strip on that one. And on the reverse is this polka dot. And I don't know if you can really tell in that picture, but it has like toffee and black and bluebell uh, colors, dots. And this is a ledger paper. And then on the reverse is a wood grained paper, very lightly wood grained. This is black paper with white dots and I love that plaid zip strip. I wish they had made a whole piece of paper with just that on it. And on the reverse is black paper with a white kind of diagonal stripe, almost looks like raindrops. There's also a coordinating cardstock that's not shown for the mix-in papers. You get six sheets of one each of black, bluebell, mink, toffee, charcoal, and white daisy. This set is called So Tweet, and you can get it with or without thin cuts. Isn't that adorable? These three at the top are um, really smaller stamps. And what's good about these is they're very inexpensive, only $3.95. And they are two fits on a two by two block. I've got this one that says, please enjoy this paper hug that I'm going to use on my envelopes. And then this floral design, it's called Floral Borders and Sentiments. And the cards that you can make with this are just amazing. This stamp set is called All Star Birthday. You get 17 stamps. And you can make that really cute uh, card that's shown there. And the good thing about this is it's meant to go with the uh, Star Shaker Window Thin Cuts and the Star Shaker Window Foam and Acetate. Here is our graduation stamp set for this year. It's called Glad You're a Grad. And isn't that cute? I love the sentiments on this. It's been a rough year for our students, for the graduates. I love this stamp set. It's called Moments With You. You get 11 stamps and you can get this with or without the thin cuts. And what's really special about this is that I love is actually just a thin cut. And so you can cut that out with paper and then stamp those other sentiments underneath it. Okay, this is my favorite stamp set of the whole catalog and it's called Desserts a la Whirl. And it makes some really adorable desserts. And it is meant to go with the card front spinner thin cuts. You don't have to use it with that, but um, it's sort of meant to go with that. So let's take a closer look at this stamp set. Isn't it cute? And I made one of the spinner cards with it. So you can see using that little spinner on the inside, it, you could say, you're so sweet. You're the best. You're amazing. There's also a wishing you a latte, wishing you to be happy, and do not forget, donut forget. This set is really fun. It's called Take a Hike, and look at that adorable card that they made with it. This set is called Shoot for the Moon. I love the moon and the sun. 
some nice sentiments. There is no thin cuts that goes with this stamp set. Father's Day is coming up in June. Why not use this My Hole in One stamp set? You can get it with or without the thin cut and make your dad this really cute card for Father's Day. We also have uh, two stamp sets celebrating our uh, men in uniform, men and women in uniform, and you can get the US or Canadian version or both. This stamp set is called Spot on Sentiments and it's meant to go with the thin cut that's on the next page, but you don't need to use it um, for that. It's just really cute circle sentiments. This thin cut is a sunburst background thin cut, and it makes really cute cards. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half, and it covers the front of a, one of our A2 cards. So I've made a few samples here. Here's one I use in primary colors. This one, I used a monochromatic with Bluebell, and I put the butterfly thin cuts, and I'll talk about the butterfly thin cuts later. Here I used some of the uh, Hillside Cottage paper and the, that mix-in paper. If you remember that paper that I only had a small portion of, I, that's what I used it on. We also have some new circle thin cuts and these cute leaf thin cuts. And you can layer them. There's a base at the bottom and then these different shapes, uh, for designs really on the leaves. This is the May months of the year stamp set. Really cute. And you can use it on the big calendar. So you have May that's big and May that says small. So you can use it on that small perpetual calendar. All of the months of the year have uh, the months like that, a big version and a small version. Here it is up close. You can get, get an idea about the size of all of the stamps. And then there's the June months of the year. It has a tie and it says Father's Day, soak up the sunshine, lazy days of summer. I like that little ice cream and good vibes only. Now this is the special for National Scrapbooking Month and I love, love, love this special. You can get the You Are Enough paper pack and sticker sheet or you can get it without the sticker sheet. But look at those papers. It's like, I can't decide, some marble, some galaxy prints, and look at the sticker sheet. The sticker sheet is amazing. You need the sticker sheet. Look at the half, the top half is all rose gold. And these all have, um, you know, positive sentiments. You are enough, you are beautiful. Look at those. Look at the watercolor stickers there. And I have some of the paper to show you. This paper, the, the video just does not do it justice. You need to see this in person. I wasn't 100% on board when I first saw it on the catalog. But once I got it, I am amazed. And this paper has some of the rose gold uh, embossing on it. Look at this. It's like a sangria marble on one side. And then on the reverse side is uh, an ombre paper, although you can only really kind of see the bottom part of the ombre. If you look in the catalog, you can see the full ombre. It goes from like a, a ballerina color all the way down, sangria, and then the blues. So I'm just showing you the bottom of that. I'm having a National Scrapbooking Month uh, event and I've been sending out make and takes and so that's why I've used a lot of this paper already for the make and takes. You can sign up. It's May 15th. Take a look at my website um, for more details. So you can see this great paper that I'm sending you to make a layout. This one is really cute. It's like little pebbles, multicolor. Here is a blue ombre you can't really tell but it goes from really light bluebell to darker bluebell and it has positive sentiments on there and then this is all I have left of 
this paper, but um, on one side it's like this watercolor, and the other side has a sangria positive sentiments. So look at that. I, I can't even explain what that paper looks like. It is so amazing, though. It looks like a nebula to me. And then look at this. It's like the um, sangria fluff on one side, and the other side is this blue hexagon, but it has the rose gold um, around each hexagon. And if that weren't enough, the coordinating cardstock has um, rose gold on it. With the You Are Enough coordinating cardstock, you get 12 sheets, two each of Bluebell, Ballerina, Sangria, Sapphire, Peach, and Glacier. One paper has the rose gold foil pattern on it, and then the other one is just the plain solid cardstock. This one, um, so the Bluebell... Uh, the ballerina and the sangria have a, what I would call like a splatter, I don't know, it's like a little, just a splatter mark with the rose gold. And then the sapphire, peach, and glacier have more of a diamond pattern rose gold foil on it. So again, you get one sheet of the solid cardstock and one sheet with the rose gold on it. And all of these go so amazing together with that uh, previous paper pack that I showed you. It's really incredible. There's also You Are Enough Picture My Life cards. You get 24 double-sided pocket cards. And then there's the You Are Enough stamp set, 21 stamps, and you can get them with or without the thin cuts. Again, some of the positive sentiments, you are brave, strong enough, or I am brave, strong, beautiful. So take a look at this. I will say that the printed catalog, there's a few differences from what you actually get in, um, in the actual stamp set, but the digital catalog has been updated. Now this is that butterfly thin cut that I showed you um, the sample of with that, with that card. Here are the thin cuts. The larger butterfly has three layers, so the base, the middle, and the top. The smaller butterfly has two layers, the base and then the top layer. And I put my hand by there to give you a sense of how big it is. Now, granted, my hand is fairly small since I'm, you know, four foot ten, but still, it's you can get an idea on this card about how big that it actually is. And it's so pretty. I'm going to use that a lot. And the embellishments with this collection is uh, the You Are Enough sequins that are butterfly, and they are holographic. You get 32 adhesive back sequins. They're 13 millimeters by 17 millimeters. And on one sheet, it's kind of a light pink opalescent color, and then the other one is a, I would say, a more blue opalescent holographic sort of colors. They are really beautiful. They also have an exclusive You Are Enough scrapbooking workshop. So more look on the website for more details about that, but those are the layouts that you can make. And they are going to have live events for this. I have created um, these cards to give you an idea about the beautiful things you can make with that paper, the You Are Enough paper pack. And if you buy this collection from me, I will send you the cutting diagrams for these cards. And I only used four of the patterned papers. And I believe it was two of the solid cardstock. You can make all of these cards with, with just that four pattern paper and I think two sheets. It might be three sheets now that I'm looking at the colors. But just a few sheets of the solid cardstock. And I just look at that blue marbling and that little butterfly thin cut. I tried to use a variety. So here I used the stamped butterfly from the stamp set, whereas the previous one was the thin cut. 
Okay, now let's look at the stamp of the month. This is the May stamp of the month. It's called Flowers for You. It has this really beautiful flower designs and some nice uh, sentiments. You inspire me, just keep smiling, just because, happy birthday, thankful, and so on. I did make a couple of samples. Here I used Distress Oxide on the background and uh, did the Emboss Resist. And here um, I used the Circle Flower Design and I inked it up with Flamingo, but then I edged it with um, some other colors to give that look. This is the June stamp of the month. It's called Outdoor Borders. And so it's a really nice border set um, all about camping. So it says, happy camper, back to nature, scenic view over the hill and through the woods. It's got some hiking boots. Enjoy the ride with the little bike. And I did make a layout where I used these uh, borders. I'll show you a close up here. I stamped this border, the Hello Summer border in paprika. Here I stamped the enjoy the ride and cut that out. I also cut out the um, vacate, vacate mode here I stamped the little hiking boots. And there I stamped the back uh, to nature scenic view and the stay cool. I used the hillside collection paper for this. We went to uh, the Badlands last summer and I'm going to use that uh, page to scrapbook the Badlands. And the back of the catalog is the every bit of wonderful stamp set that we have all year long. And $7 goes to support Operation Smile. If you would like more, please visit my website, thecraftychemist.closetomyheart.com. Thanks for joining me.